Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignertechtips.com. Well yesterday we sort of played with the VH and VW units to set height and width for a section here. Today we're going to cover something, we've covered this before but it's so popular and people keep asking questions about it. We're going to turn our navbar into a transparent navbar and when you scroll I'm going to have a color appear. It's pretty easy to do. We've got to write a bit of JavaScript, but don't let that put you off. I'll put the code, I'll put the JavaScript as a download, and I'll put the CSS that we write today, I'll just put that down below this video. If you want to use it, you're welcome to. So let's get started. Here's where we left off. It's just a default bootstrap template. It's got a dark nav bar right here at the moment. And if we look at our code, with Bootstrap you're going to need a text editor to edit it. If you don't have one, you can download a free one, brackets, the one that I'm using here, from a link below this video. But any text editor will do. Okay, so if we look at our template that we've got here, like I say, this is a default Bootstrap template. If you've got brackets, you can go to Extensions, Extension Manager, type in Bootstrap, and it'll a whole bunch of free extensions will come up for Bootstrap. Uh, all the ones I found are absolutely free. One that we're using today, I just hit a new Bootstrap template, that's one of those extensions, and it'll come up with a, a little template for you. That's what we've used here. All right, well, let's have a look. Here's where we were, and here's where we wanna be. Now, the first thing I need to do is I need to give this a bit more height so we can scroll so let's do that first let's get it back up here and we'll do the, exactly the same with our second section as we did to the first I'll use a bit of VH to make this section a little taller so we've got some scroll room so we'll say style usually I do the style in an external style, style sheet but we're doing it inline today for convenience and I want to say height and we'll say 150% basically which is 150 VH semicolon let's save that back to the site let's refresh this now we should be able to scroll now yep we've got a bit of scroll room fantastic okay the next thing that I'm going to do because we can make this transparent but at the moment if we do that we're going to lose most of these links here because they're light in color I'll just show you exactly what I mean somebody put this on an answer to one of my um, uh, videos earlier and they said you can just change the background dark from background dark to transparent which is exactly right and if I save that now it'll turn that nav bar transparent but of course we've lost our links up here which is fine and our uh, actual object is now budded up against the top of the screen which is great just what you want if you've got a nice big hero image but we've lost our nav link so what I'm gonna do the reason I don't do that for whoever was po posted that um, uh, comment yeah background transparent that's a great way of doing it but I'm gonna put that back to background dark and do it a different way purely because of how I target it with my JavaScript. But it's entirely up to you. There's always more than one way of doing things. So I'm gonna leave that background dark. And I'm gonna change this navbar dark to navbar default. And I'll change those links to sort of a light blue color, which we'll be able to see on black or white background. I mean, I could ch do some CSS coding to change it when it happens, but this is just makes it easier for the demo today. So let's save that. Let's refresh. There we go. It's gone back to the dark background there. And now our little links are blue. So when we change this to transparent, you'll still be able to see them there. So let's go ahead and do that. Now to do that, I'm going to write a little bit of CSS. I'll put this CSS down below. So I'll target that class of BG Dark. 
Now, what do I want it to do? To open and close some curly brackets. I want to force it to have a transparent background, which is uh, no problem. So we're going to say um, background. Transparent. Now I've got to make this important because it's overwriting the default class. That's fine. Like I say, you don't have to do any of this if you flip that to background transparent, but you'd have to change the link colors and stuff like that. And then I've got my JavaScript written and it's going to work better for this. So we want background dot transparent. Save that. Let's go back refresh there we go we got our transparent background there and our nav bar links are all nicely visible like I say you can always customize those with a bit of CSS change of color now what we need to do is give it a color when it scrolls so let's write a little bit more CSS and we're gonna say I'm gonna copy that class right there background dark but after it, I'm going to put dot scrolled dot s c r o l l e d, and then I'm going to tell it I want it a background color. Well, let's say black for convenience. You can make it any color you want. So I'm going to say black, which is zero zero zero, and again, we'll have to use the important because we're forcing that. Okay, that's fine, but how do we actually make it scroll? Because at the moment, it's not going to do a whole lot. So let's save that, and you won't really see any change here if we refresh. Yeah, you see there's no color appearing. This is where we need to add our JavaScript. So let's go back in here. I'm just going to paste this in, and like I say, I'll put a download link below this video. If you want to use this, you're welcome to, or I'll leave it up on the screen and you can copy it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my scripts at the bottom of the page here. After the last closing script tag, I'm just going to go down one. Okay, I'll just tab this across and select that, just line it up. Okay, so we've got our bit of JavaScript there. And basically it says, basically when the window scrolls, we want it to toggle the class of scrolled and that's what we wrote up in our uh, scrolled background important background black so it's going to toggle the class scrolled when we scroll from the top and when we're 200 picks down now you can change this to any number that suits you you don't need to put picks on the end just that the actual number Let's see if this is going to work. Let's save that. Control S. Let's go back to the site and refresh. Okay, we've got transparent. There we go. And our black nav bars clicking in about 200 picks from the top. If we look, look here, we've got about 200 picks from the top of the screen. Now you can change that if you want it to come in after your image, if you've got a nice hero image, because transparent background usually is there if you've got a nice hero image or a video in the background. So perhaps you might want it to come in at the bottom of here, which is, I don't know, about probably 600 picks. Let's try that. We can change the value. At the moment I've got 200 let's change that to 600 save that and see where it comes in this time 200 do a refresh that wasn't a bad guess it's about actually it's about 700 put another hundred in there and it should come in just at the end of that blue section then Obviously, you want to change this to something that works for you. Let's go back to the top and refresh. Uh, 
there we go now the only other thing I want to do at the moment is sort of just jumping in there let's make it fade in or the transition let's make that transition perhaps take half a second to do that let's go back to our CSS at the top here and on the regular one not the scrolled one let's put in a transition value so we say transition and let's say 0.5 seconds and let's have it ease in you could put in 500 ms from 500 milliseconds it would be the same thing you can have ease you can have ease in out i think this will work for us though let's just save that control s and see what we've got now back up to the top refresh and scroll down there we go it kind of just fades in you can even make it fade in a little longer than that if you wanted to let's give it 0.75 and we'll call this a day we'll call this video done say 0.75 seconds three quarters of a second save back up to the top refresh there we go that's kind of a nice little fade and like I say you can see everything so that's how to change navbar background color on scroll using a bit of JavaScript. It's pretty easy. Like I say, I'll put the CSS down below this video and I'll put a download link to the JavaScript. You can download a PDF and use it if you wish. I can't put JavaScript down there because of the pointy brackets. But uh, anyway, you should be able to use it either way. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.